I'm showing you the quickest and easiest way to make my healthier creamy garlic mashed potatoes with cottage cheese. I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes that are steamed, not boiled, which maximizes their nutrition and flavor. And then high protein cottage cheese is blended until smooth, removing all the curdled texture. And then fresh garlic is sauteed in butter. Then it's all whipped together with shredded Parmesan cheese and a garnish of parsley. Yukon Gold potatoes are my favorite for mashed potatoes, but you can use any variety that you like. We're gonna start by peeling and chopping two pounds of potatoes. And I love using my little piranha peeler, which makes quick work of it. And then once our potatoes are peeled, we're going to dice them into half inch pieces, which will help them to steam quickly. Now that our potatoes are all diced, you could easily put them into a pot of boiling water, and then you'll have to boil them for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're fork tender. But my favorite method is steaming them. And you can turn any of your pots into a steamer by simply using this collapsible steamer basket. All you do is place it down inside your pot and then it expands to fill the space. And three advantages to steaming your potatoes is that it only takes about 15 minutes. It also helps the potatoes retain most of their nutrients as well as their flavor. Now I'm gonna fill my pot with hot tap water just until it reaches the bottom of the steamer basket. So I filled my pot with some hot water just until it reaches the bottom of the basket. And then now we can add our potatoes. And then I'm going to add my lid and then I'll set it on a burner with the heat set to medium high. And then I'll set a timer for about 12 minutes. When 12 minutes are up, I'll check it with a fork to see if it's done or not. If they're not quite soft, I'll just let it go for about another two minutes. While our potatoes are steaming, we can go ahead and prepare our cottage cheese. I'm just going to use the chopper cup that comes with my immersion blender. You could also use an upright blender. And we basically just want to blend down our cottage cheese to remove that curdled texture. So I'm going to add half a cup of cottage cheese and you can use large curd, small curd, low fat, non-fat, full fat, <laughs> whatever your preference. Next, I'll add half a cup of milk, and I'm just using almond milk. And to give it a little more flavor, I'm adding half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then I'll just put on the lid and blend it till smooth. Our cottage cheese is nice and smooth, and we don't have any more of the texture. So we can go ahead and set this aside until our potatoes are steamed. And also, while our potatoes are steaming, we can prepare our garlic, our cheese, and our parsley. When it comes to Parmesan cheese, I prefer to use the block of cheese. Now you can buy the pre-shredded cheese, but it's been coated in cellulose so that those little strands don't stick together. But I have found it doesn't melt down as smoothly as using a block of Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna use my zesting grater to shred my Parmesan cheese, because I want to have really small strands that will really spread and melt throughout my potatoes. So I'm just gonna shred half a cup of Parmesan cheese. You could certainly add more if you'd like your potatoes to be extra cheesy. Next, you'll want to crush or finely dice three cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna use my stainless steel garlic press. All I have to do is place the garlic inside, give it a good squeeze, and out comes all this delicious garlic. Man, that smells amazing. After my potatoes are mashed, I like to add a garnish of fresh parsley. But you could also use dried parsley if that's all you have, and just mix that in with your potatoes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll up some of this parsley and then just finely chop it so that I end up with about two tablespoons of parsley. Now we can set these aside and wait for our potatoes to finish steaming. Now that our potatoes are steamed and soft, we're gonna transfer them to another bowl because we're gonna use this pot to whip our potatoes together. So I'm just gonna use a slotted spoon and just carefully scoop them out and into a bowl. Now we want to pour the water as well as our very warm steamer basket into the sink. Now to get the most flavor out of our garlic, we wanna first saute it in our butter. So I'm gonna add three tablespoons of butter to our saucepan. And I'll just let that melt in the bottom. Then we can add in our three crushed cloves of garlic, as well as a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna give this a stir, turn our heat to low. Just give that garlic a chance to soften and release its flavor and aroma. Now that our garlic is soft, we can go ahead and pour in our cottage cheese mixture. And then we want to add our potatoes back into our pot. And then we also want to add in our Parmesan cheese and a couple dashes of pepper. And we'll give this a quick stir. Our pan is still nice and warm, which is helping to melt down the cheese. To mash your potatoes, you could use a handheld masher or you could use a mixer. If you're going to use a mixer though, you'll want to be very careful not to over whip your potatoes because then they can turn out a little bit rubbery. So I'm just gonna poke this down into my pan. Turn it to low and give it a good mix. Well, this is the perfect time to take a quality control test just to make sure you have the right amount of salt and pepper to your taste. That is perfectly seasoned for my taste. 
I'll go ahead and dish some out into a bowl. Oh, those look so good. And then sprinkle on just a little bit of that chopped parsley. Okay, this is the real thing now. Those are delicious. I would never guess that these are made with cottage cheese because they're just rich and creamy and full of flavor. It has the perfect amount of butter to make them really soft and flavorful. And it has the perfect amount of seasoning from the garlic cloves as well as that little bit of onion powder. Well, these potatoes would make a fantastic side dish as is, or even better with some gravy poured on top. And I love that they're made with nutrient-dense ingredients with more protein than traditional mashed potatoes. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today to make these mashed potatoes, and I've included a link in the video description below to the full recipe, which is on my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know someone else who would love this recipe, please share this video with them. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen next time.